Now, let's talk about another lichen, probably more common than all the other lichens we've discussed. Lichen simplex chronicus, and it's lichenoid in the name only. There is no lichenoid band here, but this is really important, and you will see this on skin specimens all the time, not just in rashy type things, but you'll see it Next to squamous cell carcinomas or actinic keratosis, people scratch and pick at their skin if they have a rash or they have a lesion there. And when you chronically rub, scratch, pick, or itch at your skin, it gets thicker to protect itself, basically. And that process is called lichen simplex chronicus, or LSC, and it begins to resemble palm and sole skin. So if you see a biopsy from somewhere on the body that's not palm or sole, but it looks like palm or sole, it means the patient has almost certainly been rubbing or scratching their skin chronically. And the features you can see, there's acanthosis, but unlike psoriasis, the reedy are of different size and shape, usually are what we call irregular acanthosis. The granular layer is usually very thick. That's one of the most helpful features to me. And also we get this pink band here, which is called the stratum lucidum. And it's only seen in acral skin or in lichen simplex chronicus rubbed and scratched skin. So anytime you see that band there and you're away from the acral sites, the palm and sole, you're probably dealing with scratched or rubbed skin. Now, sometimes this is the only finding. And then I tell the dermatologist, yeah, this is just LSC. And then they know, okay, good, because sometimes they'll biopsy it thinking is it actually an active inflammatory process. So if I see this plus spongiosis or plus a lichenoid process, well, then I'll say there's sponge derm and also there's LSC. So then they know, oh, there's still inflammation there and I can try to treat that with an anti-inflammatory uh, like topical steroid. Okay. And when we say something is lichenified, that adject is the adjective form. It means LSC is present. So lichenified means it has LSC. Now here, this uh, biopsy right here, a really nice big deep shave, shows a lesion they thought clinically might be a squame, which is why they did a big biopsy, but it turns out it's not squamous cell carcinoma. It's just a, a single lesion of lichen simplex chronicus. Look at that stratum lucidum there. You can even see from low power, look how thick the granular layer is and how acanthotic. And you can see the epidermis gets thicker, 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 and then thinner, thinner, thinner back to normal. And that this tells me this is probably a discrete lesion. They thought it was squamous cell carcinoma. So again, an idea that clinically it's probably discrete. Close up, it looks just like lichen simplex chronicus. And this is called perigo nodularis. It is basically the same thing as LSC from chronic scratching and rubbing, but the difference is that clinically it's localized to one little area. So if you're not sure clinically, you can say LSC slash perigo nodularis. I do that all the time. Or I'll say that it has lichenification or perigo-like changes. All it means to the dermatologist is someone's been picking. And they usually clinically know that it has been. But sometimes for these solitary lesions, they're concerned about squamous carcinoma. And being able to tell them, nope, it's just reactive from scratching and picking can actually be very useful. And like, here's an example. Look at this ulcer. I know this is an excoriation from the person picking their skin because look at the lichen simplex chronicus next to it. Stratum lucidum, hypergranulosis, irregular acanthosis. So it's a very useful finding. When you see it, you know someone's been scratching. Whether they say they have or not, you know they've been scratching.